Hey there, how you doing? I want to start off this video by saying that this is a hack. It's a hack, okay? We all know that real DTF is the most ideal. However, some people don't have a DTF printer. So, in today's video, I am going to be doing an update on a hack for those who do not own a DTF printer, okay? Okay, no need to tussle in the comment section. We all love you, okay? It's all love. This is just a hack. And now that we've got that out the way, I'm Angel B, welcome to my channel, okay? In today's video, like I said, we are going to be doing an updated on the inkjet hat that I did a month ago. Um, in my first video, I did do, I, I believe it was a Roblox shirt I did for my son. Um, it was the inkjet, the DTF inkjet hack. So basically, you take the DTF film and you put it through the, the regular inkjet printer and you print it on there with your regular inkjet and then you press it onto the shirt. Um, and the reason we're doing that, right? I know some people are like, well, why would you do that? Why not just sublimate? So that gives you the ability to, to put these kinds of images on a 100% cotton shirt. You cannot sublimate on 100% cotton without using a hack anyway, such as white HTV glitter or the clear HTV or the spray. So if you wanna get sublimation onto a cotton shirt, you have to use a hack anyway. So now there's the DTF hack. Now, what I did differently in this video from that video, the first time I used the inkjet, I coated it once and I cured it once. This video, I will be coating it twice and curing it twice. And I will say there is 100% a difference. If you have not seen that video, the first one I did, um, definitely skim through my channel. I will try to remember to either put it in the cards or in the description box. But if I forget, scroll through my channel. Um, it was inkjet in a DTF with DTF film works or I don't know. I can't remember the name of the title, but it was about a month ago from this video. Um, and like I said, go take a look at the shirt because I don't have it with me. But um, if you take a look at the shirt I did in that video versus the shirt, the color on the shirt that I did in this video, there is a major difference. So that second coating and that second curing definitely make a difference. And I'm going to show you, show you how to do it in this video. So go ahead and stick around. Okay, guys, so I have my print ready and I'm just going to go ahead and cover and coat my um print here now this is the first print that i did i did end up having to do a second print and i will show you towards the end of the video why but if you look at the face on my print the adhesive is not really sticking to her face and this is why i'm going to try to do it again but what i what happened was i let the the ink dry too much before i put the powder on it now, as you can see, it's kind of like gappy where her face is. There's no powder there. Um, and that really ended up being a problem like towards when I went to prep. Now, I am trying to coat and cure it again for a second time, but it still did not stick to her face. Um, I did end up printing this image a second time and it worked out the second time beautifully, which I will be showing you in the next clip. All right, you guys. So I do have my um, transfer ready and set to go. So we are using a Make Market 100% cotton t-shirt um, for this hack. Now, I know a lot of people, if you missed the beginning of the video where I clearly said that this was a hack, this is a hack, okay? Here's my, um, here's my print here. It looks really, really good so far. Now, I did accidentally touch my ink down here on the snowflake, as you can see. So the color there might be a little tiny bit messed up. But for the most part, this hopefully will look better. Now, if you saw my video a month ago, I'll try to remember to either put it in the cards or link it in the description box. When I did this hack, I did um, one... So, okay, so I printed it off my Epson 7710, which is my regular inkjet printer. 
I coated it with the powder and then I cured it once underneath my heat press. Since then I have gotten a DTF oven. So what I did this time was I printed it off the same printer, the Epson 7710. I coated it with the powder. I cured it in the oven for 200 seconds at 100 degrees Celsius. And then I coated it a second time with the powder and then I cured it a second time in the oven for 200 degrees at 100 degrees Celsius. Um, the last shirt that I did, the color, it looked a little vintage. It wasn't like super, super vibrant. Um, so I want to see if the second coat and cure will make the color look more vibrant rather than vintage. But like I said, I did mess up my snowflake on the other side. So we might have a little color issue right, just right here. Everywhere else should be good. So I'm going to press this at 325 degrees for 40 seconds. Now, one of the biggest things about this is that the inkjet ink dries way faster than like the sublimation ink or the DTF ink. So it is imperative that you get that powder on there as soon as possible. And I'm going to show you why. This was the first shirt I did. Now, when I took, as you can see, the color on her face didn't take at all whatsoever okay so um the issue was when i printed it i i let it sit at the printer for a second because i was doing something else um and i didn't put the powder on it right away so because of that once i did go to try to put the powder on it i couldn't get the powder to stick right here because the ink was already too dry and it wouldn't stick Okay, so I, I decided I was going to try to press it anyway just to see what it would look like and this ended up being the result and like I said it was because the ink here had dried and I couldn't get the powder to cure to that part. So when you looked at the print there was actually no powder there at all whatsoever and this was the result. So I'm doing it again and this time I put the powder on there as soon as it came out. I'm just gonna move this over here just because it is a cool heel and that padding is still really hot. But that is the key to this inkjet hack. Now what I was saying before, if you missed the beginning, this is a hack. We all know that a, a real DTF printer with real DTF ink is gonna be the most ideal solution however if you do not have a dtf printer or you can't get your hands on on right now this is a hack that will allow you to be able to get images like this onto cotton shirts right so the question was why not just sublimate that image okay it wouldn't that be easier no because you can't sublimate on 100 percent cotton you got to use a hack at some point so if you want to sublimate this if you want to get this image onto a 100% cotton t-shirt with sublimation you still have to use a hack whether you're using clear HTV whether you're using white glitter HTV whether you're using the spray or something you still have to use a hack so this is just a DTF version of the hack without having to use the spray chemicals or a vinyl okay so it's just a hack guys it is just a hack no need to tussle in the comment section okay okay but you do want to make sure that this is a um, this is nice and cooled off before you peel it. That's why I took it off the pad because it was um, still warm. All right, that feels pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and peel in a downward motion. Oh yeah, that looks so much better, so much better than. The first time I did it and I don't have the shirt is that is at home I craft out of my office and the shirt is at home so I can't show you the difference but like I said I will try to remember to link it either in the cards or in the description box if I forget check out my channel it was the first inkjet um, DTF hack video that I put on my channel it's about a month old if you're watching this video when it's new okay so this looks so much better in comparison to that first one. Oh my goodness now we have to do our second press that second press is really what solidifies the color and the um, the the adhesion to the shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it on there. I'm gonna cover this with a Teflon sheet. 
and then we're gonna print at 325 for another 10 seconds you guys don't forget to follow me uh oh i'm sure that was loud um but don't forget to follow me on social media i will have everything linked down below all of my products will be linked down below as well i am using the yamation products the um the film i'm using the regular film and i'm using the powder the, i believe it's medium powder i'm not for sure but it'll be linked down in the description box whichever one it is oh my goodness that looks amazing okay do y'all see the color the color the color oh it's still kind of hot but um yeah look at that that looks absolutely amazing it feels absolutely amazing and this is dtf film with regular ink jet ink okay not sublimation ink not um DTF ink. This is my regular inkjet. The same inkjet I would use like if I was printing off a letter to somebody. This is that same ink that I would use if I was printing off a letter that I wanted to give somebody. It's that ink. Okay. Do y'all you, you, do see that? Do y'all see that? The, right here where I said my snowflake got messed up a little bit. You can't see it. But this is from me. That looks absolutely amazing. So yes. That second coat and second cure definitely makes all the difference okay so do the second coat do the second cure and boom you got your hat and it looks amazing but that's all i have for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff until next time bye